What just happened? Hey, welcome back to the beer garden and division in front of the Grand Fig. It's beer drinking season, and if you're here because you like beer, and let's be honest, why else would you be here? Uh, please tap that subscribe button and uh, subscribe because I have low self-esteem, and a lot of subscribers and followers make me feel a lot better about myself. Thank you for your support. All right, up this round, another fan favorite request overwhelmingly for this time of the year, Sam Adams Festbia. Now, uh, regardless of the time of the year you're watching this video, it is uh, beer drinking season, it is Oktoberfest season, and what's up with Sam Adams Fest beer? Smooth lager, it says. 5.8% alcohol. I've never had Sam Adams Fest beer before. And this time of the year, I get asked a lot about what's the difference between Fest beer and Oktoberfest beer. I will tell you the difference in just a moment. Uh, but to be honest, with other Fest beers that I've had and Oktoberfest beers, I do prefer the Oktoberfest over the Fest beer. Not that the Fest beer is bad, but I do prefer. Uh, the Oktoberfest beer. Okay, and once again, since Sam Adams is an overwhelming request from my viewers, you like to see me suffer, because you know my, me and my track record with uh, Sam Adams. I must be slightly allergic to Sam Adams, because every time I drink it, my ears get red, I get hot, and I feel weird. And not only is Sam Adams brewed in Boston, but it's brewed in Cincinnati, Ohio, and Binningsville, Pennsylvania? Did I say Beinigsville, right? It's a German name, so I guess it sounds all right. Coming up at the end of this video, I'm going to rank Sam Adams Fest beer out of five stars. How good a Fest beer is Sam Adams Fest beer? Hmm, that's coming up at the end of this video. All right, let's pop the top and see what we got. All right, we have a proper pop-off top. And uh, once again, let's say hello to the sold out Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review Pint Glass to be capped off nicely with the uh, Royal Bavarian Beer Glass Deckel. Keeping the bugs and leaves out of my, out of my beer glass right there. Uh, it's time for the pour. Never touching the bottle to the glass as you're pouring. That is good beer etiquette. You never want to touch the glass or the bottle to the glass or the glass to the bottle. All right, okay, uh, right off the top, I'm noticing that uh, soapy, bubbly, frothy macro head. Decent color, okay. Uh, when it comes to a fest beer, it is technically a lager, so, but a slightly darker lager. Sam Adams nailed it on the color. Uh, what's the difference between a fest beer and an Oktoberfest beer? Well, an Oktoberfest beer, uh, they're both German styles of beer. Oktoberfest beer is a Märzen style beer, or a Marzen style, as uh, some Americans say. It's uh, a little darker, more malty, more sweet. Uh, your alcohol volume is usually mid fives to near six. A uh, Fest beer is more of what they serve at the actual Bavarian Oktoberfest in Munich. They started serving Fest beers back in the 80s, I think it was. Be just because it's a little more neutral, it's a little more palatable. Fest beer is a lager that sort of leans to an Oktoberfest. It's an Oktoberfest lager, if that makes any sense. Uh, and Oktoberfest, I know, is its own style of beer because it's a Märzen, but this is a lager, the Fest beer, and so it's a little more palate neutral, but this is 5.8% alcohol. So they got the they got the alcohol jacked up there for your uh, you know two weeks of drinking, uh, but it's more of a lager that the masses can appreciate. I don't want to drink by myself, but let's first take a nose. What am I looking for in a uh, Fest beer? Uh, any sort of German beer, I like to get the yeast out of it. I'm getting a, 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 the, the, the slightest whiff of a little bit of yeast, so that's encouraging. It smells like a German beer, so I don't detect any hops uh, whatsoever. I am getting a, a, a nose of like marinara sauce. I don't know where that's coming from. And uh, perhaps a little bit of underarm deodorant. Time for the liquid to hit the lips. I don't want to drink alone, so grab a beer and let's go. Prost!
Hmm. I had to get it in the uh, sweater weather uh, 12 pack, <coughs> um, which ran about $14.99 for a 12 pack. <coughs> it was on sale at Kroger. Yeah, it does have a very lager taste. When you're looking in the terms of a fest beer, I think Sam Adams nailed it. It's an Oktoberfest lager. Uh, it is very palate neutral. Uh, getting a little more hops than I thought I would. Uh, I'm expecting malt because I like Oktoberfest beers, but it is pretty uh, low on malt, which it should be. It's a fest beer. Style-wise, I think Sam Adams nailed it. Really wasn't that bad. 5.8% alcohol. You don't taste the 5.8%. It tastes more like about a 4.2. Uh, if you like a middle-of-the-road lager, you got that. So if you're looking for something a little different for the fall season, uh, I'd say, yeah, you might want to check out the Sam Adams Fest Beer. Rating this as a Fest Beer, because that's what it is, out of five stars, where am I going to rate Sam Adams Fest Beer Smooth Lager? Um, and again, this is one of those ones where I'm not going to, I'm not going to choose a number. I'm going to wait for a number to come to me. I'm going to wait for that number to come to me. And that number for the Sam Adams Fest Beer is out of five stars, a 4.07 out of five stars. What just happened? Did I just like a Sam Adams beer? Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you hadn't tapped subscribe by now, we would love it if you would. Uh, the more, the merrier. Join our group on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all those things. We're, we're there. Comments down below. What beers would you like to watch me review? I'd love to hear your comments, concerns, questions. In the meantime, it's a beautiful uh, day here in the beer garden with the ever-changing light source in the Wiesen. Grab yourself a beer. You drink that beer. Prost!